Why was Abram's name changed to Abraham? Why is he called Father Abraham? How did Abraham become father of the faithful? Let's look at the life of Abraham and discover why he's called a father to those who believe. We'll look at Genesis 12 through 25 and the life of a patriarch of our faith. In Genesis 12, God said to Abram six times, I will. He told Abram, go to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse him who curses you. Abram left a comfortable life in Haran because he had faith in God's promise. To your descendants I will give this land. But Abram deceived Pharaoh. They will kill me, but they'll let you live. Please say you're my sister. He was fallible. Abram was very rich in gold and silver and had enormous herds of animals. The land couldn't hold his and Lot's herds, so they separated. Revealing his character, Abram let Lot choose the best land. If you take the left, then I'll go to the right. Lot chose the greener, sin-filled plains, but eventually needed rescue. Eastern kings attacked, captured Lot and his family. Abram took 318 fighting men and saved them. Then he met Melchizedek, king of Salem, Jerusalem, a priest of God. Abram gave him a tithe, a tenth of all, and refused to be bribed by the king of Sodom. God encouraged Abram, count the stars, so shall your descendants be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Sarai used her handmaid as a surrogate who bore Ishmael. God changed Abram's name from High Father, Abram, to Father of a Multitude, Abraham, and Sarai's name from Princess, Sarai, to the Princess, Sarah. God instituted circumcision as a sign of the covenant and promised a son via Sarah. Abraham laughed that a hundred-year-old man would father a son. So God said, Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac, Yitzhak. He laughs. Our Lord with two angels visited Abraham, promised a son, and shared God's plans for Sodom. Abraham asked about fifty, forty-five, forty, thirty, twenty, or ten righteous there. The Lord promised, I'll not destroy it for the sake of ten. Lot lived in a city of ego, obesity, idleness, and where the poverty-stricken and disadvantaged suffered. The angels entered Lot's home, but a mob yelled, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us, that we may know them carnally. The angels rescued Lot from the gang, struck them blind, and next morning destroyed the city. Though Abraham was faithful to God, like us, he was still not a perfect man. His defense by deception, which came to the fore in Egypt, had returned. Now the situation was similar with Abimelech, king of Gerar. God warned Abimelech in a dream not to take Sarah as his wife. Now therefore restore the man's wife, for he's a prophet, and he'll pray for you, and you shall live. But if you do not restore her, know that you shall surely die, you and all who are yours. We, like Abraham, are not perfect, yet we too can pray for people that they may live. Isaac was born as promised and circumcised, Sarah wanted Abraham to send Hagar and Ishmael away. God told Abraham, Whatever Sarah has said to you, listen to her voice. For in Isaac your seed shall be called. Yet I'll also make a nation of the son of the bondwoman, because he's your seed. How does a father feel sacrificing his son to war or to a cross? Abraham faced that test, believing God's promise that... In Isaac your seed shall be called, concluding that God was able to raise him up, 
even from the dead. Abraham was spared that suffering. God was not. Sarah died, and Abraham bought property in Hebron to bury her. Then, Genesis 24 contains a love story and the faithfulness of Abraham's servant, whom he sent to find Isaac a wife. Rebekah was willing, Isaac loved her, and she became his wife. In Genesis 25, after Sarah's death, Abraham had more children by Keturah and several concubines. He sent them away with gifts and gave his entire inheritance to Isaac. Mosaic inheritance laws would give the chosen one a double portion, not everything. Abraham died, Isaac and Ishmael buried him beside Sarah, and the descendants of Isaac and Ishmael still attend his grave to this day, side by side in Hebron. Abraham was far from perfect, but by faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Mm -hmm.